years after its launch, NASA's Juno probe is delivering breathtaking images. Io, the most volcanically active moon in the solar system, is revealed in glowing lava fields and sulfur patterns that look like cosmic scars. At the same time, Juno reveals new secrets about Jupiter, its stormy atmosphere, powerful magnetic fields, and fascinating polar cyclones. The latest Juno update is more than a scientific report. It's a groundbreaking glimpse into the raw beauty and power of the solar system. Since July 2018, NASA's Juno probe has been orbiting the largest planet in the solar system. Juno shows us Jupiter not only as a gas giant, but as a living system of storms, magnetic fields, and never-before-seen perspectives. Juno's eye gazes at bands of clouds that flow into each other like colorful oil paints. It shows us whirlpools larger than entire continents and cyclones that circle the poles in perfect symmetry. Juno also turns its gaze to Io, the volcanic moon that never rests. Lava fields constantly erupt here. Sulfur colors the landscape in toxic shades of yellow and red, and glowing lakes look like strangely luminous eyes. Io is a moon that is constantly squeezed by Jupiter's powerful gravity, causing it to be in a constant battle between internal heat and external pressure. The Juno mission was and remains a milestone in the exploration of Jupiter and its moons. The probe offers us a stunning view of the raw energy of the universe and landscapes that show us how diverse and powerful nature is, even in the cosmos. Lava Fields, Mountains, and Wild Landscapes Io is alive. When we look at the map of Io, we see a moon with a landscape marked by fire and sulfur. The map reveals a mosaic of active volcanoes, lava fields, and sulfur deposits that stretch across the surface. Every point on the map is a source of incessant energy. Every spot is a testament to the tremendous tidal forces with which Jupiter shapes the innermost of its numerous moons. The close-ups of the landscapes are impressive. Sulfur yellow, ash gray, and deep red merge into an image that shows a strangely familiar and at the same time alien landscape. Images and montages showing us vast landscapes raise the question, could humans walk on the surface of Io or live here? Probably not, because not only would the raw power of the landscape and the toxic fumes cause problems for humans, but the pressure exerted by Jupiter would probably compress our lungs in a short time. Io presents us with landscapes of crusts that repeatedly break open under pressure. Lava flows that stretch for hundreds of kilometers and sulfur fumes that cover the surface with toxic clouds. Io is a moon in constant change and a celestial body that shows us how geology works under the most extreme conditions. Steeple Mountain, with a height of up to seven kilometers and almost vertical flanks, is a stone tower that rises like a statement from hell. The peaks are jagged like the spires of a cathedral, a structure of nature that defies gravity. Steeple Mountain is not just a mountain, it's a symbol of the tectonic force that shapes Io alongside volcanism. Lava flows constantly renew Io's surface, but here, where Steeple Mountain rises, Io's crust piles up into a remarkable monument. The combination of volcanic landscapes and mountains makes it clear how powerful Io is. The moon provides us with a constant spectacle of fire, sulfur, and stone. Jupiter's volcanic moon Io Never before have we seen the drama and beauty of the moon as clearly as through the eyes of Juno. In the photos, Io's surface appears like a rugged painting of sulfur yellow, ash gray, and deep red. Every dark spot is a volcano. Many of them are far larger than the largest mountains on Earth, even though Io, with a diameter of about 3,642 kilometers, is only about a quarter the size of Earth. You could place about four Io moons side by side to span the Earth. Of the 95 moons of Jupiter currently known, Io is by far the most active, and not only that, Io is even considered the most volcanically active object in the entire solar system. 
Its crust acts like a skin that constantly tears open to reveal the fire beneath. The tidal forces of the gas giant knead Io like clay and transform it into the most active volcanic region in the solar system. Sulfur vapors color the landscape in brownish toxic tones, and Juno's images even reveal lava flows stretching for hundreds of kilometers. Lava Lakes on Io What would Io be without Jupiter, and would it even exist? This question has preoccupied scientists for decades. The moons could have been formed by rock accumulations and under the pressure of Jupiter, or they are captured mini planets that date back to the early days of the solar system. If Io were located elsewhere in the solar system, it might be a frozen body or a cold, rocky world. But under Jupiter's powerful grip, Io is a restless and constantly erupting body. In this photo, the glowing lava lakes look like wounds, scars, or dramatic eyes shining out of the darkness. Lava lakes can be seen here, and each of these points is also a window into the interior of the moon. The colors, size, and shadows provide information about how the magma bubbling beneath the crust is released to the outside, what temperatures prevail, and how the geological tidal forces interact. The image of Io is constantly changing. The surface is covered with solidified crusts that repeatedly break open, allowing new streams of liquid rock to flow out. On the night side of the moon, they glow in dark shadows, and on the day side, they reveal a vivid play of colors. Juno shows us the full beauty of this moon for the first time. The Four Galilean Moons Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are Jupiter's four Galilean moons. The montage shows them side by side, like a small planetary system in the shadow of the gas giant. With a diameter of 5,268 kilometers, Ganymede is the largest, and it's even bigger than the planet Mercury. It almost seems like a world of its own, characterized by ice surfaces and tectonic structures that indicate internal dynamics similar to those on Io. Callisto, the outermost of the four, measures 4,820 kilometers, making it only slightly smaller than Ganymede. Its surface is littered with craters. The moon is considered one of the oldest landscapes in the solar system and an archive of cosmic impacts that preserves billions of years of history. Europa is significantly smaller at 3,121 kilometers, but perhaps the most exciting from a scientific perspective. Researchers suspect that beneath its smooth ice crust lies a global ocean that could contain more water than all the seas on Earth combined. Europa is therefore considered one of the most promising places to search for extraterrestrial life, and the Moon will likely be the target of the first robotic probes searching for life underwater in the coming decades. Viewed side by side, the four moons display an astonishing diversity, from ancient cratered landscapes to icy ocean wonders to tectonic giants and volcanic hells. Jupiter's Turbulent Atmosphere You've probably never seen Jupiter like this before. The clouds of the gas giant form an endless spectacle of colors and shapes, and behind the swirls, which are larger than entire continents, lies a storm that has been raging for centuries. Juno's groundbreaking images reveal a dynamic system in which heat, pressure, and rotation create a complex pattern. The image was taken during the 69th flyby of NASA's Juno probe on January 28, 2025, over Jupiter's northern latitudes. JunoCam captured the gas giant's characteristic belts and zones. In this color-enhanced image, the turbulent transitions are particularly prominent occurring where winds collide in opposite directions and create complex patterns. The image was taken from an altitude of about 58,000 kilometers above the cloud tops. Polar Cyclones NASA's Juno mission captures close-ups of polar storms on Jupiter. Juno shows us the magic of Jupiter from completely new perspectives. Special camera techniques have revealed the cyclones circling Jupiter's North Pole and their complex patterns. Each vortex is a storm the size of Europe, 
and the points move around each other in almost perfect symmetry. Jupiter definitely has its own order and shows us like no other how powerful storms can create beautiful harmony. The colors range from deep blue to bright white. The colors provide scientists with exciting clues about different altitudes and temperatures. Juno has revealed that these cyclones are not isolated phenomena, but interact with each other, stabilizing their orbits and creating balances that remain in place for years. This image is not only a scientific treat, but another masterpiece that shows us the beauty and order of Jupiter. Juno, mysterious end due to government shutdown? The news is shocking. NASA's Juno probe may now have fallen victim to a political dispute. The last mission extension ended on September 30th, but theoretically, it continues to orbit Jupiter. Almost exactly at the official end of the mission, a U.S. government shutdown took place. Such a shutdown means that Congress and the government cannot agree on a new budget. Without a finalized budget, many federal agencies and research missions are partially or completely shut down. For NASA, this meant that all projects not considered critical to safety were no longer allowed to access new funds for the time being. Since then, Juno has also been in limbo. Technically active, the probe continues to deliver data, but official communication and all further planning are currently frozen. Scientists are waiting for the green light while the probe continues on its course. It's possible that many more important images and findings will simply be lost in the madness of bureaucracy. The government shutdown does not only affect Juno. Other missions, from Mars rovers to Earth observation satellites, are also feeling the consequences. Routine work is being postponed, publications delayed, and new projects halted. The shutdown is an instrument of political confusion, and in the cosmos it means standstill, and ultimately, a loss of millions. For Juno, which has shown us the beauty and power of Jupiter and Io for more than eight years, this is a dramatic moment. The technology is alive and could bring new insights every day, but the future depends on decisions made on Earth. Click subscribe now and be there for every new video.